Well, hey there, my sweet friends. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, and there are a whole lot of new, okay? <laughs> my name is Missy, and today I want to let y'all know, y'all asked me to do this one, and I wanted to let y'all know what happened yesterday. Um, yesterday was my son's first ketamine treatment. And I was the one that took him. He didn't have a ride to get to the facility. So I took him and we had a lot of fun beforehand, <laughs> I should say. Um, I picked him up. He was in good spirits. He was excited. Y'all, I woke up at 4.30 yesterday morning. I don't know why, but I did. I was up at 4.30 and I was nervous, I was worried, I was concerned, I was anxious. Um, I had plenty of time to have my morning coffee and my usual wake up time. And, you know, got Aiden up, got him dressed and ready to go. We headed out, we picked Joseph up, we headed towards Knoxville and we had a lot of good conversation going up he he was in really good spirits and he is so hopeful for this treatment to work and you know he, he told me mom i'm i'm so excited and i just know that this is it this is what's going to end this for me and i i've told him, I said, I hope and pray, and I do, I hope and pray that this treatment is everything that you want and need it to be. We had a little moment before he went in, just a little moment of prayer and a moment of silence together, and I went in with him, well, Aiden and I went in with him, because it, it doesn't matter what y'all say that, you know, Aiden doesn't need to see this or whatever. Aiden's with me 24-7. There is no babysitter, okay? I'm it. So he's with me 24-7, and he has to go in with me. Can't leave him sitting out in the car because, you know, people are stupid now. But anyway, we went in, and I asked a couple of questions. And I didn't film anything yesterday, nothing, because I didn't feel, I didn't feel it to be a necessity yesterday, okay? And people have such huge issues with me filming anything to do with this if Aiden is in it, which Aiden's going to be in it, okay? Again, 24-7. That's my child. He's with me 24-7. So, you know, I didn't film anything. And they told me that he would be done within a couple of hours or so. And that they would call and, you know, let me know what's going on. So, Aiden and I went and did some shopping. You know, we went into uh, an area called Turkey Creek. And they have, you know, all sorts of shops and restaurants and things like that in the area. And, you know, something we're not real used to. So when we're up there, you know, kind of take advantage of that. So we, we went, we did a little bit of shopping. We picked up a couple of things. Um, just, you know, kind of wasting time and enjoying some time out away from the homestead. And about, about 12.30, I headed back to the facility thinking, you know, okay, he, he's going to be done. He's going to be coming out any time. And, you know, I need to be there. I still hadn't got a phone call or anything like that. But, you know, I'm thinking this is what the lady told me. So let's head on back. So I did. Uh, we were only about 10 minutes away from the facility. So we went back and I just pulled in, in almost the front door, 
uh, there was a parking spot real close to the front door, so I just pulled in, you know, and I sat there, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and at this point, I'm starting to get nervous, you know, what's happening, what's going on, it's almost one o'clock, and he still hasn't shown up, you know, mama's getting anxious, so I step in, I go in, and I just stuck my head in the door, and the lady that we had spoken to when we first got there was standing there, and she said, oh, oh, I'm so sorry, um, the last little bit is being infused at the moment, he should be done around 1.15, maybe a little after that, and then we'll bring him out to you. Okay, <laughs> you know, thanks for not letting me know, but okay. So I go back out, Aiden and I are sitting in the car, we're playing games, we're, you know, waiting. He's asking questions, and, you know, I, I'm answering to the best of my ability. Okay, because I don't know exactly what's going on in there, and that's what he's wanting to know about. I don't have all the answers yet, and I said, when your dad comes out, then we will have a chat with him, and we'll know exactly what's going on. So about 1.30, I finally see the doors opening, and they are bringing him out. Uh, he's very um, wobbly on his feet, okay, and he has gauze and tape, two different places on his arm, uh, where they put the IV in, and I get out, and Aiden has got his window rolled down, and he's, you know, hollering, that's my dad, that's my dad, dad, are you okay, you know, and, and he's very excited to see his dad come out, and I go around, and I get his door open, we get him in the car, We I get him all buckled in and everything because he's very woozy and I'm going to use the word loopy because that's exactly what he was and, you know, I thank them profusely and we drive towards the house, okay? And I ask him if he was hungry or anything like that. He said no. He was very sleepy, very groggy. Uh, again, very loopy, very wobbly on his feet, and you know there there was really no no going anywhere after that because he he was just he was in such a state that you know I didn't feel comfortable I didn't feel comfortable leaving him in the car for me to go in and do anything, and I didn't feel comfortable. Uh, with him trying to walk around and do anything because he was so wobbly. Um, and again, I have not done a whole lot of research on this treatment. I have heard several different stories and things like that. Um, you know, some people say that this is a godsend, that it, it works miracles, you know, he, he's telling me that it's, you know, pretty much a 100% success rate. And then there's others that say, you know, it's just trading one for the other, that it's extremely dangerous, that it doesn't work. And y'all, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know where, where it's going to drop with this, okay? I honestly don't. I know that he has... 100% faith in this, and he's excited to get this help, and he's doing it with his own money. I am not putting a dime out. He put gas in my car yesterday. He bought Aiden and I lunch. I was not out one dime, not one iota, <clears throat> and he is, he's paying his way with this, and honestly, in my mind, I'm thinking, if he does this, if he if he's paying for it all, you know, he might take this more seriously. And another reason I think that he is taking it more seriously is because he told me yesterday, he said, Mom, 
I almost feel like this is the last shot. This, this is my last ditch effort to get clean and to stay clean. And I said, don't say that. You know, don't, don't say that. And this was between me and him. You know, this, Aiden was actually asleep because we'd gotten up so early. He was actually asleep in the back seat. So he wasn't listening, okay, before anybody comes at me. He wasn't listening. And I said, don't say that. And he said, I'm serious, Mom. He said, if I can't kick it, if I can't get clean this time, he said, I, I don't know how much longer I've got. And he said, I honestly thought I let my addiction talk me, talk to me and tell me the lie that I could use one more time and I would be okay. And he said, I am not okay. Because after that one time, the whole part came rushing back and I had to have it again and again and again and again. And he said, my body can't take much more. And he said, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'll do if this doesn't work. So... That was a very eye-opening conversation that he and I had. And I told him, I said, please don't talk like that. If this doesn't work the way that you need it to, or the way that you want it to, or the way that you think it should, then we'll find something else. We'll try something else, whatever it is we need to try or to do or whatever. You know, we've done the methadone, we've done the rehab, we've done the NA, we've done the intensive therapy, we've, we've done a lot to try and get him sober, okay? He's been in jail there for a little bit in the very beginning, 14 years ago, okay, in the very beginning, I did bail him out. I don't do that. If he goes to jail, he sits in jail. And I'll be honest with you, that is the best sleep that I get at any point in time during this these 14 years. That may sound harsh, but I know where he's at. I know that he's clean. I know that he's eating. I know that he is safe, okay? I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about getting that phone call. And I sleep. And it's really nice, okay? It's really nice. But anyway, back to yesterday. Um, we were driving through Knoxville. And I said, so how is it feeling? How is it making you feel? And he said, well, I, I really don't know how to explain it to you. It's almost like my brain is detached from my body. He said, and I know that doesn't make sense, but that's, that's the only way I can explain it. And he said, I had a breakthrough during therapy. They do therapy during the infusion. And he said, I had a breakthrough through in, during therapy. And he said, when I can speak on it, then I want to talk to you about it. And he said, because this is what, he said, honestly, this is what this whole thing is centered around. And he said, I didn't realize it until today that this is, this is the hurt. This is the issue. This is the problem. And he said, I want to sit down and talk to you and dad about it and let y'all know this is what happened. And he said, it was like a ton of bricks was just lifted off of my shoulders and off of my heart. And he said, I needed that. He said, I've never had therapy that was so intense and that was so mind blowing. And he said, I don't know how this happened, but it did. So, I don't know, y'all. That that was the very first treatment. 
and again, he has one on Thursday. Uh, I will not be taking him to the one on Thursday. His, uh, his wife is available to take him. So she will be taking him up there on Thursday. I may wind up having to take him one day next week. I don't know. We shall see. Um, you know, we there's three weeks of these. Two sessions per week for three weeks. Um, we'll see how this goes. I, I plan on, you know, keeping y'all updated. Um, and letting y'all know how things are going. Yesterday, you know, when he started kind of waking up more, I guess that's what you would call it, I guess. But, you know, a while after we left the facility and, and you know, he, he started coming back to or whatever you want to call it, you know, he started talking more and he was laughing and, you know, joking and and we we had a really really good trip home okay and when we got closer to where he lives to drop him off Aiden said dad I just want you to know that I've really appreciated getting to spend the day with you today and you know we all kind of shed a few tears or we both shed a few tears with that you know, Aiden's in the back seat. He doesn't see anything. And, uh, you know, that was just the sweetest thing. And then when we were dropping him off, um, he came around and he hugged both Aiden and I and told us that he loved us. And, you know, I asked if he needed any help getting in. And he said no. He was actually feeling really good, really refreshed. And, you know, he, he even gave me a, a peck on the cheek and, you know, love you, mama. Thank you for everything. I really appreciate this. You know, I'll let you know how I'm doing later on tonight. And he did. He called me last night and he said, hey, I just want to let you know that I'm feeling better with every hour that goes by. And I just want to thank you again for taking me up there and, and, you know, spending your day away and, and just being there for me. And, you know, that was, that was really sweet. So I know that this video is not really exciting or anything like that. This is just my view of how yesterday went and I promised you guys that I would you know hop on here let y'all know how it went I had some that were messaging me and emailing me asking how it went and thank you all for that I really appreciate that um but yeah I, I know that this isn't exciting but y'all it's how my day was spent we I got home Let's see, we left about 7.30 yesterday morning, somewhere in that area, 7.30, 8 o'clock. And I got home about 4.30 yesterday afternoon. And I probably should have hopped on when I got home and did this video when everything was still fresh in my mind. But y'all, I was exhausted, okay? Exhausted. And I wound up going to bed super early last night and slept marvelously yeah so i did not hop on and do this video it is the next day and again i procrastinated okay i am a professional procrastinator clearly i am y'all there has got to be something that we can do something that we can do to stop this flow of drugs that's continuously coming through because hey guess what it, it it's killing our kids they don't care what they put in it they don't care what they lace it with they don't give a rat's patootie what they do with it it's coming in we all know it 
Okay? We all know it. We all see it. We all feel it. There, there are new people being added to the list of addict every day. Okay? Every single day. And these drugs are killing our kids. You know, it's about to get to the point where these drugs have, have such a pull on these kids. And I, I call them kids, okay? They're kids to me. Uh, they just are. But these drugs have such a pull on these kids and such a grip on them that it's almost it it's almost impossible for, for them to get clean and stay clean. It is. It's scary. It is honestly honestly scary how strong this epidemic is holding on and how strong a grip these new drugs that are coming in are, and that are being distributed all over how strong a grip they have on these kids I don't think any of us have any idea I see it I see it in my situation I see it in the the situations that y'all have spoken on in your lives I see it in situations you know here surrounding us I see it and I feel it and I'm only afraid that it's it's just going to get worse. And it's going to get to the point where there is no help for our kids. Okay? There is no help for our children. That's my fear. That is a legitimate, huge fear of mine. So, we all just need to be thinking about what we can do. Because... There's strength in numbers, y'all. There is strength in numbers. And the numbers in this situation is huge. It's huge. And if we were to all come together and do a meeting of the minds and come up with something we can do, whew, There has to be something. There has to be. There has to be. So. Alright, y'all. This is where I'm going to end today's video. And again, I apologize if this is a little scatterbrained. Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm a little bit scatterbrained myself. You know, it's... I... I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just tired. So I've got, you know, some things I've got to get done today. So I'm going to get in here and get that done. But yeah, I, I hope y'all have understood this video. I really do. But thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for being here, y'all. This channel is growing exponentially. And it is growing It's growing in ways that I didn't I didn't see happening. I honestly didn't. When I made the video almost two weeks ago, and it just blew up, I, I didn't see that coming. I, I've made so many videos about my journey through this. I, I didn't see that happening. I, I figured, you know, it might it would probably do like all the others have done. It turns a lot of people off, you know, and. I'm sorry for that, but I promised when I started this channel that y'all would get real life. This is what's going on in my life, and I'm putting it out there. I did not see it taking off like it did, and I did not see the number of people reaching out, and I sure didn't see the amount of love and support 
that was headed my way. That was like a wave, a huge wave just coming over me and shrouding me in love and protection. And y'all, I am thankful for it. I am so thankful for it. I really am. And if you can't tell that, then I'm sorry. I don't know how else to express it. You know, I, I really do appreciate it. So, please continue to, you know, like, subscribe, and share. Share these videos. Y'all, there's more people out there that need to see these videos, that want to see and hear the videos. They want to go through the comments and find the love and support that they're looking for. We, we've got to, we've got to come up with something, y'all. We've got to come up with something to save our kids. We do. So, much love to each and every one of y'all. And we will see you all in the next one. Bye, y'all.